Uh, well, downtown I have a, a bit over 10 murals through, throughout, spread out throughout downtown. Uh, my connection to downtown and the murals is that uh, I grew up, I grew up here in Segundo Barrio, uh, and growing up I saw a lot of the murals. Uh, that used to be painted back in the days, so that's kind of what uh, influenced me to paint. You know, coming back to El Paso, I left for a while and I came back to El Paso seeing some of the, some of the walls that were still kind of bare. I started painting again. I uh, also saw the, the need for some uh, art supplies. Got me to opening uh, a store here, which is Calavera Culture Shop, you know, to kind of help, you know, in having uh, more supplies accessible for, for muralists and artists. And also help, you know, in the production of more murals here downtown. El Corrido del Segundo Barrio is a, a mural that, that was produced kind of to tell a little bit of the, about the story of the community. Taking from a corrido, a corrido in Mexican tradition would be a song that would tell a story about a person when I met. And that's what we wanted to do, you know, use the, the, the mural as, as a form of a, a storytelling. You know, one of my, my favorite murals, I had my mother in there and my nephew, uh, you know, as I put him in there and also, you know, where I, where I came from. The El Paso uh, Masters, uh, a mural on art space, was actually uh, funded in part by, by the downtown management districts, the grant program. One of the main images there is Abraham Chavez. We have a, a convention center or a theater named after Abraham Chavez, but people don't really know who Abraham Chavez is or who, what, who he was. This was one of the first Hispanic orchestra uh, leaders, and you know people didn't know that. You know, and, and we should be proud of having somebody that's Latino doing that. That mural at the, the convention center was. Uh, actually collaboration through a grant that we got from the Biological Research Center. We worked with uh, an artist from Juarez, another artist from Tucson, and myself and, and uh, Blaster. What we did is that we put uh, animals that are endangered, especially endangered because of the border wall. Father Ram uh, was uh, a priest that was here in Segundo Barrio and did a, a lot of change to this community. He, he opened the first uh, credit union for this community. He uh, influenced a lot of musicians in, in way of opening up a, a youth center where uh, he would provide instruments and provide you know, music direction for them to learn. Uh, a lot of help too with uh, uh, the youth in, in you know, gang prevention. You know, that's why they, they would say that he would ride around in his bicycle with gloves you know, and try to like prevent the, the youth from fighting and you know, kind of direct them to boxing. Uh, and I think this is my best part about town. I think seeing downtown come alive. Uh, I was here when downtown was really dark. It was really uh, dead for lack of words. And seeing downtown come alive with people, with their scooters, with, you know, biking around and, and you know, the lights on El Paso Street, you know, coming, you know, and seeing that. 